Father of Istaka, Sun Tri Yesu. You're very welcome to Sun Tri Yesu, where we're looking at the readings for tomorrow, the 22nd of March, uh, the Friday of the fifth week of Lent and the feast of St. MacCartan of Clahar. MacCartan was a strong man from the north of Ireland, a pagan who comes down to Patrick because he's heard about him. And he comes down and he questions Patrick and he comes to believe in Christianity and becomes Patrick's companion, you could say a bodyguard. He helped to look after Patrick in so many different ways. And then when MacCartan is becoming old himself, Patrick establishes the church at Clogher and appoints MacCartan as the leader of that church. The first reading tomorrow is taken from the prophet Jeremiah. The first part of the reading is Jeremiah's pain that he is being attacked, even though he's doing God's work. And it seems like he's surrounded by terrors. And then halfway through it, he turns around, he says, but the Lord is at my side, a mighty hero. My opponents will stumble and be mastered, confounded by their failure. Everlasting, unforgettable disgrace will be theirs. And the disciple all of us, we carry these two things in our heart. We carry the difficulty we meet in life and following Christ. And we also carry our faith in Christ. And it's almost as if our fears and our faith are competing. And by God's grace, our faith will win. And Psalm 18, I love you, Lord, my strength, my rock, my fortress, my saviour. My God is the rock where I take refuge, my shield, my mighty help, my stronghold. So we put our trust in God, even though things appear to be going all wrong around us. Our trust is in God. And the gospel, in the gospel, Jesus is again in conflict with those Jews who do not believe in him. Now, that's an important point. It's not with the whole Jewish community. It's with the Jewish community who do not believe in him and who are shocked that he's claiming to be God. And they, they want to stone him because he has, as far as they're concerned, blasphemed. And Jesus reaches out to them and he says, well, look, if you don't believe me, look at the works that I'm doing and believe at least in the works that I am doing. He's reaching out to them and saying, OK, you may not like me. You may be repulsed by what I say, but examine the works and come to know that there is something extraordinary here. Even though they're attacking him, he is appealing to them to come to him so that they can be saved. Believe at least in the works I do. And the gospel finishes on a very hopeful note. Many people who came to him there said, John gave no signs, but he all he said about this man was true. And many of them came to believe in him. So we, what we have in John chapter 8, verse 31, Jesus was speaking to the Jews who believed in him. And here we have many of them came to believe in him. So the people who will crucify Christ is not the whole community, but it's those who have been misled. With thoughts such as these, let us go to our beds and let us pray that we shall indeed awaken in the morning with the praise of God on our hearts and on our lips. Agus gamana dia lakok tuk shiv, ahar mak agus spirit nev, amen. Slangafol.